What's up, internet? My name is Sammy Fightmaster, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, I just finished my third Reese Witherspoon show in, I think, about three weeks. I started with The Morning Show, which I did a review on. Then I moved on to Big Little Lies, which was awesome. And then, I just finished her new show that's on Hulu called Little Fires Everywhere. And this show was awesome. It was so mind-blowing and just amazing. For me, I already know that a show is going to be great if Reese Witherspoon is in it, but then Kerry Washington is also in this show, which just adds another level of awesome into it. So I knew I couldn't go wrong with this show. So Little Fires Everywhere is based off of the New York Times bestselling book by the same title. I'll be honest, I'm not an avid reader, so I have not read the book. I'll kid myself and say that I will read it now, but if I'm being honest, it's probably not going to happen. So I cannot attest to how similar the book is to the show. From what I've heard and seen on the internet, it's pretty similar. Maybe a few details added into the series just for extra drama. But other than that, I think it's pretty similar. If you haven't read the book and you have no clue what I'm talking about, this show that Hulu has adapted. The show is set in 1997 in a little suburban town that's in Ohio. Living in this town is Reese Witherspoon's character, Elena Richardson, along with her husband and her four kids, Lexi, Moody, Tripp, and Izzy. They're all in high school. That sounds insane to me, but that's how it happened. Elena's life is pretty picture perfect. She strives to have it seem like that. She wants everybody to think that she has the perfect job, perfect husband, perfect kids. Um, she's always had this plan and of how her life's going to go, and she not missed a beat, basically. She's also a little nosy. She does get herself into everybody's business in this town. Some people are okay with that. A lot of people aren't, but she doesn't care. She's going to get herself involved. But around the time that school's getting ready to start, Carrie Washington's character, Mia Warren, and her teenage daughter, Pearl, move into town. So Mia doesn't have a lot of money. She's kind of a traveling artist and they've never really set roots down anywhere. They've kind of moved from city to city every couple of months, had to live in their car sometimes, um, don't sign leases that aren't month to month. They're just not as well off as Elena's family. And as the show progresses, you kind of see all of the life choices and all of the craziness that leads to both of them going down the paths that they went down. So anyways, they move into this town. Pearl is about 15 years old and she's kind of tired of moving from place to place. She'll gladly do it if that'll make her mom happy. She's that kind of kid, very positive, very respectful, but she really wants to just spend a year somewhere and have some roots so she can make some friends that she doesn't have to say goodbye to so quickly and can just be in high school and just enjoy that time. So Mia agrees that she'll keep an open mind. She doesn't want to tell Pearl that they'll be there for a full year, but she said that she's willing to make it happen. So they end up renting an apartment from Elena who can tell that they're not that well off. So she's trying to, she gave them the apartment for a cheaper price if Mia will do some of these like tasks around the building but Elena keeps trying to just insert herself into their lives and trying to help them. It's well intentioned but Mia doesn't want that. She sees it as charity and doesn't want Elena to be involved in her life at all really. Anyways uh, Elena has a couple kids that are around Pearl's age so she sets up a time for them to meet Pearl becomes really good friends with Elena's son, Moody, and he kind of introduces her to the rest of the family, and she, Pearl really connects with their family. She really likes them. She likes them a lot. She wishes she had kind of a life that they have. Um, she likes hanging out at their house. She's really close to all the kids. She's really close to Elena, which causes a problem with Mia. Mia doesn't like that. Mia's trying to make things work for Pearl to give her this life that she is wanting, but Mia does not like, to me it seems like Elena's trying to steal her daughter, which she doesn't like that. So that creates kind of a rift between Mia and Elena and it becomes like this war between the two of them. And that's how the show kind of progresses is, is all of the chaos that spills onto the kids and spills onto the town 
because of the two of them not liking each other. It causes a lot of issues. This show is drama filled. It's drama central y'all. If you like a good drama, which I have said on a couple of occasions that I do, this is your show. It's very good. Every episode kind of starts off with like a preview into the past um, of either Elena or Mia's life or even the kids. And you just kind of see what has happened to get them to this point. And it's a lot. It's a lot to take in. It's a lot of stuff that you did not see coming. If you've read the book, you already know everything that happens. But if you're like myself and did not read the book and just saw this looks like a good show on Hulu and you clicked on it, you're going to be shocked. You will be surprised by a lot of things that unravel during this show. It's done so well. The character that I probably loved the most in this show was Izzy, who is Elena's youngest daughter. She's a freshman in high school. She's kind of getting picked on at school. Elena's not the nicest to her because Izzy doesn't like the picture-perfect lifestyle that her mom's trying to set up for her. And so they butt heads a lot, like a lot. And it's just, they fight all the time. And there were so many times during the show that I just wanted to give Izzy a hug. I just felt so bad for her, but I love her. I would definitely give this show five stars, like hands down, no doubt, because it was done so well. Acting was awesome. The story was awesome. Like, I don't know who thought of something like this, but it was great. You're a genius. Very drama filled everything there was always every episode had like its own omg moment like there were many times that i audibly was like what and just like jaw dropped wide open like it took so many turns so many good turns like quickly that i almost felt like i had whiplash from everything happening in this show but by the end you get time to digest it all and it becomes wholly a great show. I highly suggest watching this show. It's just awesome. Like I said, it's on Hulu. It's only eight episodes long and they range from about like 45 minutes to an hour. They're not all the same length, but it can be watched fairly quickly. It was so good. Like I'm still in awe of this show. I finished it yesterday and I'm still thinking about it. Might watch it again, honestly. If you don't like a good drama, you probably won't like this show but if you do and you like Reese Witherspoon, Carrie Washington, and all the drama that you can handle you're gonna love this show. If you've seen the show and have some thoughts on it leave them down below because I want to see them and I will talk to you about all your thoughts that you've had because I need to have conversations with people that have seen this show because I have so many questions still but like I said I don't want to spoil anything so all my questions will spoil things for you. So when you watch the show, you will understand the questions that I have at the end, but it's just a lot. Love to see a second season. Don't know if it's gonna happen. Please make it happen though, Hulu. Let's do this. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new to my channel and have not subscribed yet, I would love it if you would do that and then hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Well, that is all that I've got for you today, so I guess I will see you next time. Bye!